Hello. All right. Uh, good evening, everyone. So I'm a PhD candidate at TUM, uh, working in cloud computing. So let's begin. Uh, if we look at the brief history of the cloud, from bare metal servers to infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and then more recently to serverless computing, aka function as a service, in which users are only responsible for writing small pieces of code called functions, deploying them onto a function as a service platform, while all responsibilities around uh, infrastructure management are automatically handled by the cloud provider. So uh, some prominent examples of fast platforms include AWS Lambda, Google Cloud Functions, Azure Functions, and IBM Cloud Functions. Uh, typically, uh, these cloud providers see around 1.1 billion function invocations each day. So if we look at some of the major challenges in sustainable serverless computing, one of the challenge is that due to the high level of abstraction uh, provided by the fast computing paradigm, some core new technologies which enable it consume a significant amount of energy as compared to conventional technologies. So if you look at Firecracker, uh, which is a lightweight micro VM used in production in AWS Lambda and AWS Fargate, it consumes 19 joule of energy per function invocation request. Another major challenge is that the geographical region or data center for serverless function execution uh, is pre-selected during function deployment in all commercial FAST offerings. So as a result, uh, the varying carbon intensities of different geographical regions are not considered uh, for execution. To address these challenges, uh, we propose Green Courier. Uh, Green Courier uh, is a scheduling framework uh, that intelligently schedules uh, serverless functions across geographically distributed Kubernetes clusters to minimize carbon emissions for function execution at runtime. So it builds on Kubernetes and uh, Knative, which is an open source function and service platform used in Google Cloud Functions and also Google, Cl Google Cloud Run. Uh, so Green Courier has three main entities, uh, users, uh, the central control plane, and the uh, geographically distributed independent provider clusters. To connect uh, the provider clusters to the central control plane, we use the open source project called Leco, which internally uses Virtual Kubelet. Uh, virtual Kubelet cloaks the provider clusters as virtual nodes and uh, connects them to the management cluster. Using our frameworks is extremely simple. In the first step, uh, users implement functions in different programming languages such as Go, Python, Node.js, or Java, uh, modify the YAML specification file with our scheduler name, and deploy them onto a management cluster. Uh, in the second step, uh, our custom scoring plugin for Kubernetes implemented using the Kubernetes scheduler API scores the independent provider clusters depending upon the region's current carbon efficiency. To get information about uh, different ge geographical regions, uh, carbon data, we implemented a metric server which supports multiple marginal operating emission rate sources, such as what time and the carbon aware SDK. Uh, so it's ex essentially exposed to the REST API, which is used by the scheduler plugin. After getting the carbon efficiency scores, uh, the Plugin uh, assigns the function pod to the provider cluster with the highest current score. And finally, after completion of the pod binding cycle, uh, uh, the function can be invoked by the user. So moving on to some evaluation, uh, we experimented with our framework on GKE with Knative across multiple geographically distributed clusters spread across Europe. Uh, we use different standardized fast functions performing different types of tasks. And to emulate actual user behavior, we used open source uh, production uh, Azure function traces for generating requests. And uh, we compared our strategy against the default scheduling in Kubernetes and also Azure where scheduling strategy with, uh, maximizes the placement of functions in regions which are closest to our management cluster. To quantify and estimate carbon emissions, uh, we used the uh, software carbon uh, intensity specification developed by the Green Software Foundation. So SCI for any application can be calculated using the shown equation, and more information about SCI can also be found here. So looking at some results, uh, if uh, across all functions and per function invocation uh, with our strategy, we were able to uh, reduce uh, carbon emissions by 8.7% versus the default 
strategy and 17.8% on average with respect to the GOA strategy. Uh, but there are also some trade-offs involved. Uh, so uh, across all functions uh, and the default scheduling strategy, we observe 10.26% geometric mean average slowdown in response times and 16.24% as compared to the GOA strategy. So one of the reasons why it, the performance is bad with the GOA strategy is that uh, the most carbon efficient regions in our experimental setup were actually the farthest away from our management cluster, leading to higher response times. So thank you uh, for listening. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.